And here are our officials, Bennett Salvador and Joe Forty, sorting out all those fouls. We got Outlaw, Darrell, and McGrady. Armstrong and McGrady. And we got Rivers, we know. Over here, we got Williams, Cassell, and who's Robinson. the other one? Robinson. Robinson. Officials kind of sorting it out so that they know who stands with technical fouls. Because remember, if there's another one given, that guy's out of the game, gone for the night. It's kind of a review. Somebody has to have a, a quick trigger, so to say. McGrady punches it away from Thomas, then knocks it out of bounds. What great hustle from McGrady. On the billboards around Orlando, the slogan of this team all year has been heart and hustle. He's been showing that tonight, leading by six. Yeah. This may sound like I'm trying to promo D. Brown. <laughs> it does. You notice he's back on the floor again. You know the reason why? Not for his offense. He's done a relatively good job guarding Ray Allen. That fouls on Outlaw as he knocks Cassell down. And Outlaw now with four personal fouls. And a road, hang around, hang around, stay close enough, give yourself a chance to win the game at the end. And Utah almost pulled it out today. Well, we see Milwaukee hanging around, staying close enough, see what happens at the end. Inside the McGrady. Nice two-man game with Armstrong and McGrady. And Tracy has 23. He's averaging 34 in the playoffs thus far, leading all scores. Kathy trying to drive, shooting over Garrity. Rebound Outlaw. Whole Outlaw has 12 boards. Well, I'm thinking about it. Isn't that kind of the story with San Antonio today? Also in Minnesota, right there at the end with a chance. McGrady has 25. 84-76. Magic matched their biggest lead of the game of eight. Tim Thomas comes in to Clerk, blocked the shot, and took the ball. Big play by Andrew DeClerc, 84-78 Magic. Trying to stay alive, bucks up two games to none. Ray Allen defending McGrady, shot clock to 10. To Armstrong, shot clock to 5. Back to McGrady, shot clock to 3. Tough shot from the baseline. McGrady had to turn to his bench and smile. He, he, he got a chuckle on that one because he knew he was just getting it up there. There was one second left on the 24-second clock. When it's going good, sometimes it really goes well. Cassell with the penetration, and he's fouled by McGrady on the drive. That's the third on Tracy. Shot clock right now is that 2-1. He just launches it. Look at that bounce on the far side of the rim. Hits a couple of times, rolls around. Grant Hill knew it was good all oh, the way. <laughs> Just think of next year, Grant Hill and Tracy McGrady playing together. There's Tracy's numbers, 11 to 21 now, 5 to 7 from the line, 27 points. Ten on the shot clock for the Bucks. Robinson gets Tracy McGrady airborne, missed the jumper. McGrady comes away with the tip from... Not... D. Brown. Oh, yeah. And the crowd up on their feet, an 11-point lead. Get themselves a high percentage shot, try to get to the free throw line to stop the momentum of the Bucks. If you're on the other bench, you're saying, here's where we have to get a stop, we're right back in the game again. Tracy McGrady gets into the corner to D. Brown. And tell me when you started on his bandwagon. When did you jump on that? When Doc Rivers said to me, when we talked this morning, when someone else has to step up, and he went through Garrity, and he, you know, his first playoff pick. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Let's keep that in mind. Yeah. 92 85 Magic. D Brown. Another one. You have impressed me. That's all I can say. D Brown. You know, I expect that. He's the pro player, but you're... 
Your identification of his potential contribution has been amazing. Diaz, nine points. All this quarter, it's a 10-point Magic lead. Robinson gets inside. That shot was challenged by Garrity, and the rebound goes to the Magic. They have been out-rebounding Milwaukee in this game. Well, Glenn Robinson has really been affected. He is so leery of for Brady, wherever the Brady's coming from, but even on the open shots, his face just a moment and Tim Thomas stepped back McGrady then took it inside and then he really got him that's Glenn Robinson's fourth personal McGrady well, goes by Thomas Robinson's the next man right there to slap in the face he backs up Thomas goes for the steal and then Robinson wants to make sure there's no easy layup put him on a line make him make two free throws T-Mac is 5 of 7 at the line, 27 points. Make it 28. As I said, Glenn Robinson now with four personals in the game. Robinson, 7 points, 2 for 9 from the floor, 3 rebounds and 2 assists. It has been a nightmare in these first three games for Glenn Robinson. But Grady gets them both. 12-point Magic lead. That's their biggest of the game. Milwaukee just shooting 35% from the floor. Tim Thomas defended by Garrett. Seven on the shot clock. Thomas powering it inside. That was a tough shot by Tim Thomas. He has stepped up big here. He has 14 points and 23 minutes off the bench. Full of four rebounds talk about the team that Milwaukee has on the floor right now. Your center is either Tim Thomas or Glenn Robinson, whichever one you want to call your center out on the floor. McGrady, low post, spinning and turning. He's fouled as he turns around. McGrady taking over the game. That's on Ray Allen, his second personal. So D. Brown has stepped in here and lit it up from beyond the arc. Timeout Orlando, the crowd on their feet. He had 33 points in game one, 35 in game two. He's broken 30 again here tonight. Thomas misses. Robinson couldn't get it. It was tipped by McGrady, who came down on his ankle. Let's see if he's all right. McGrady is struggling up the floor. Inside the outlaw, carrying his five fouls. He goes to the reverse and lays it in. 101-87 Orlando. Are these the same two teams? We saw in Milwaukee. Nice to come back home, isn't it? Ray Allen is fouled and counts the basket. D. Brown got him. Well, Ray Allen worked hard for that. D. Brown did a good job initially taking away Ray Allen's shot. Instead, he came back to the middle of the floor. And then here we see the great elevation up over the top. Brown trying to challenge it. A little too much effort in the contact. Remember when you asked me about Outlaw and Amici, and I said keep Outlaw in the game, it's paying off. Oh, so, wait a minute now. So you are ready then to step onto someone's sideline to take over? Is that what you're telling me? 